Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Let's get into the All Signs reading for the new week. Happy Monday, everybody. This will be from the 11th to the 17th. Listen out for your sun, moon, Venus, rising, and north node placements. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. Everything may not be for you. Don't force it if it's not your message. All right, this will be for the 11th through the 17th. Let's get into y'all weekly messages. Aries to Pisces, y'all know the routine, y'all know how it goes. What's up, y'all? I hope you all had a beautiful Monday. Hope you all have an amazing week. Hope you all are enjoying your December. Send you guys lots of love, lots of positive energy, positive vibes. All right, Spirit, I ask that you cover me as I channel these messages for each zodiac sign that I call out. I also want to thank you in advance for giving me clear and accurate messages for each zodiac sign. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for allowing me to use my gifts to help the Divine Collective. Aries, let's get a weekly message for you. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Aries. Let's get a weekly message for my Aries. I just saw the strength card, so Leo energy is present. Some of you could be dealing with Leo. You can have Leo in your chart. But let's see what's going on, Aries. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Aries. December 11th to the 17th for my Aries. Two more shuffles for Aries, please. Oh, now these idiots want to stop. These motherfuckers. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> All right, Aries, let's see what's going on, baby. Let's get a weekly message for you. Don't stop now. Keep going. Yeah, let the world hear you. I got some motherfucking clowns over here. All right, Aries. First card out, we have the Emperor in the reverse, Okay. The Tower in the reverse. The Knight of Cups. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Five of Pentacles. Okay. And the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. Aries, there you are showing up as the Empress. Shout out to all my Divine Feminine Aries out there. You guys are showing up as the Empress. Overall energy, you are here, Empress. Okay, there's an emperor in the reverse that's in your energy. Okay, somebody here that's doing too damn much. All right, this is somebody that y'all um, could be blocking, okay? Some of y'all stop talking to this person or you block this person. But I also feel like this eight of wands is just this person being blocked from your energy. Um, Empress, you also are showing up as the high priestess here with the nine of wands. All right, so I feel like you're very intuitive. You know about something here. Yeah, you're healing, okay? The star card. Some of you can have Aquarius in your chart as well. But you're taking on this full star energy. Healing, moving forward, okay? Yeah, you're free of heartbreak. You're not heartbroken, okay? You're not heartbroken at all, Aries. Some Somebody here could have wanted you to be heartbroken. An uh, emperor in the reverse. Yeah, you're showing up as someone that's not heartbroken. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, they're being really mean to you. Really unfair, really cruel. But you're still choosing happiness, Okay? This person could have also lied on you, okay? They could be a, they could be a queen of swords in a reverse here, a king and a wand, a king of wands in a reverse here that's involved as well. But you're showing up as someone that's balanced, patient, grounded, calm, harmonious, very peaceful. You're showing up as someone that's manifesting a new beginning for yourself, okay? So it looks like even though there's some drama surrounding you you're still managing to find peace you're still managing to find happiness somebody here could be worried about that as well they could be worried because you're still happy because you're not hurt because you're not heartbroken yeah the devil in the reverse yeah the chariot here you're moving free you're moving freely i'm hearing that you're free you're liberated yeah you're moving freely aries clarify this knight of cups energy yeah, somebody here is very codependent on you, wanting to come towards you. This person feels like you're celebrating. Now they want to work together with you. This is giving me the energy. If you can't beat them, join them. Okay? Give me something on this three of pentacles here. Okay, yeah, this person is watching you right now. And they feel like they're getting karma right now. Somebody here could also feel like they stuck, they're binded to something. Somebody here is having a difficult time. Okay, somebody here is not feeling well right now. This is because they lied on you. We also have a king and a queen of pentacles both here in the reverse. That's upset, feeling some type of way because you're receiving some sort of opportunity or offer. You're showing up as someone that's full of love, okay? 
Empress, Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, the Queen of Wands. Very beautiful, very magical, very loving, very intuitive. You are vibrating super high, okay? And this is why you're winning. Somebody here is mad. You got multiple people here from your past that's mad. They're trying to sabotage your life right now by bringing up old shit or just lying on you all together here. Yeah, you're working towards having a beautiful, stable home here, okay? Yeah, you got the four of wands here, which is being granted, wish fulfillment. This king of cups in the reverse is upset because the cycle has closed out when it comes to them um, causing conflict for you. Yeah, you're sitting in this nine of cups energy. You really giving me this energy of somebody that's unbothered. And even if you are bothered, it's hard to tell. It's like you're just showing up as someone that is um, practicing peace. Okay, a lot of emotional fulfillment and a lot of balance within you. Very nice areas. All right, let's move on to my Taurus. What's going on, Taurus gang? Shout out to all the Taurus out there. Spirit, give me a weekly message from my beautiful and handsome Taurus out there. December 11, 2017, please. For my Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rise, and North Node. Give me a weekly message for the Taurus out there, please. Taurus, what's up, baby? Taurus, you so sweet <laughs> i love you all right let's see somebody here could be coming towards you taurus to express their feelings okay this is a karmic partner from your past this is someone that's energetically holding on to you this person could have gave you some space and you probably felt like they finally got the hint they finally got the message that you don't want to deal with them you don't want to reconcile you don't want to reconnect with them but this person is going to pop back up out of nowhere so this is somebody that actually gave y'all space <laughs> and you probably was like whoo what a relief they finally let me go hell no nah, this motherfucker coming right back around okay they coming right back around i feel like you don't really want to invest in this person a lot of you um could have fell out of love with this person yeah it's like you don't really want to invest in this person but with the eight of cups in the reverse they still trying to come back around okay this person still wants to come back around i also feel like they got a bone to pick with you okay i'm picking up on some drama here some tension here coming from this person what's this five of swords here for why is the five of swords here Give me, yep they mad because you won't talk to them some of y'all could have left this person on red or you could be ignoring them you could be blocking them and they're going to just, like, try to pop up on you. Like, this person really wants to talk to you. It's like they want to make you talk to them. Like, they don't know who the fuck you think you are that you're just going to ignore them or block them. They not going for that shit. <laughs> they said they not going for that. They feel like you abandoned them. Yeah, five of pentacles here, four of wands reversed. Some of you could have been married to this person as well. Divorced, separated, split up. But, yeah, this person feels like you just abandoned them. And they're pissed off about this. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, a Leo, another Taurus like yourself. Or somebody with that in their chart. But this person is pissed off. Yeah, strong Leo here again. Everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords. This person also wants to tell you the truth about something. Okay, they feel like they have a lot to reveal to you. This person is getting karma right now. Why are they getting karma? This person's under heavy judgment. We got the judgment reverse and the will of fortune reverse. Why is this person getting karma? What's going on with them? Oh, this person could be feeling like they about to be um, facing legal issues or some sort of trouble here. This person wants to come clean about something. They want to tell you something. Yeah, they're nervous. They're scared. This is somebody that has a confession that they want to make. Yeah, they, they have to make a confession. They have to make something right. They have to own up to something. They feel like they need to tell you something to this. Okay. Also, somebody here could be going through a huge tower moment. Things is falling apart for somebody here. Somebody here is worried and crying and sad. Oh, man. Something here is falling apart for somebody and they're nervous and they feel like you seeking answers about what's really going on. And this person wants to finally tell you the truth about what's going on because they're really in a, in heavy regret. They're really disappointed about everything that's going on in their life. So somebody here, this is somebody from your past. This could even be a family member. This person is really heartbroken right now, okay? And they could be waiting for, you know, some sort of relief here or they could be waiting for a message or a phone call. This person is waiting for some sort of relief or some sort of good news here. But it looks like justice is being served in someone's favor here that they they went up against in some way and i feel like they just want to come clean or they want to tell you something about it all right taurus i feel like you intuitive though a lot of you may already know what's really going on here like some of y'all already pieced together 
um, some things here, but it, it'll be nice. It'll be refreshing for this person to actually say it out their mouth. Alrighty. Y'all take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? I know the messages be real specific sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's move on to my Geminis. What's going on, Geminis? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, North Node, Gemini. Let's get a weekly message from my beautiful and handsome gems out there. Shout out to my fellow air signs. Gemini, what's going on with you, sugar bump? Let your signs go. Let's see. Two more shuffles for the beautiful and handsome Gemini this week. So give me a message for Gemini this week. What is it that they need to know? My beautiful and handsome Gemini. Spare, what messages do you have for them? What is it that they need to know? Give me a message for Gemini. All right, the magician in the reverse, Lord. Okay, so mind games, manipulation, but things are being made fair and balanced. I feel like there's somebody around you that you may need to watch out for, somebody that you can't trust, okay, or somebody don't trust you. Take it as it resonates. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Pisces, a Virgo, another Gemini like yourself, or somebody with that in their chart. Clarify the magician in the reverse for my Geminis. The Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, some of y'all could be dealing with a uh, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. Okay, the Devil. Yeah, Capricorn energy here. Six of Wands here. Okay, Three of Swords here. Three of Cups reverse. The Chair reverse. So somebody here could be waiting on some good news here regarding some sort of manipulation or spell work. But I see here that somebody is actually unhappy or heartbroken because something backfired or it didn't actually work out here. Yeah, somebody here is like, fuck it, I'm not doing it no more. So, yeah, this is the spell work right here with the moon card. Yeah, that's the truth, Ace of Swords. Uh, somebody here may also be finding out the truth about a situation due to some sort of spell work backfiring. So somebody here feels like some sort of spell work would have worked um, if somebody was telling the truth. But because something backfired, somebody here could be doing some research on what's really going on as to why it backfired. It backfired because somebody realizes that somebody was lying about something. Yeah, and everything is like balancing out here with the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is like a faded event playing out. Um, things just fall in, in the place that they should. So yeah, Wheel of Fortune to the Ace of Wands. There's some sort of new beginning here. Okay, yep, justice. As soon as I cut the deck, justice. So if somebody was lying on you or getting somebody to do spell work on you because they was lying on you, trust that that shit is about to be rectified. Or if it's the other way around, it's about to be rectified. Either way, somebody here knows that something's backfiring because somebody lied. And somebody here is pissed off about this shit. Temperance in the reverse. Strong Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Gemini, Sagittarius here again. Okay. Pisces is here, Leo's here, Aquarius is here. Yeah, many people are involved here. Somebody here knows that somebody was lying. A King of Wands in the reverse is also upset here. King of Wands in the reverse wants to win at all costs with this Five of Swords. This person could be waiting to like fuck up somebody's happy happiness or come in between somebody's new beginning or connection that they have with someone. But somebody here is very in, um, intuitive, showing up as the High Priestess. And somebody here is restless about someone's intuition. I also feel like somebody here wants to work together with a High Priestess now. Okay, somebody here wants to communicate to a High Priestess or try to make something up to them. Okay, we have an Emperor here that's trying to help okay and then we also have the hermit here that's trying to sneak so there could be a virgo that's watching trying to sneak somebody but they are being watched by authorities here so somebody here could possibly get arrested yeah the hierophant in reverse somebody here is abusing their power or authority in some way and somebody here is going to have a painful ending with the ten of swords here somebody here was working together with a lot of past people that was mad at somebody everybody is going down here yeah eight of cups in the reverse to the nine of pentacles somebody here is very confused as to why something didn't work in their favor for a lot of you, this is something that has to do with money. I see here that nobody's receiving anything. Someone here could also be losing a home. Somebody here could be losing a title, a position, a role. Somebody here could be losing a job. And this is all karma here with the judgment in reverse. Somebody here is in heavy karma. I mean, heavy karma, heavy judgment, but heavy regret. This Five of Cups really disappointed. And with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, this could be you, but you standing your ground in this situation. Or this could be another air sign that's standing their ground in this situation. But the truth has been exposed. And somebody here knows that. Whatever the truth is, is really the truth because something here has backfired in a terrible way. And whatever this backfire is, is almost immediate. It's like as soon as it goes out, it's as quick as it come back. And somebody here is like, nah, let me figure out what's really fucking going on. Somebody here 
fucking lying because there's no way this shit gonna backfire immediately like immediately like this if y'all motherfuckers was telling me the truth Ooh, so somebody is trying to piece together some information now all right let's move on to my cancers what's up cancer cancer what's going on with you sun moon venus rising north node shout out to all the cancers out there Okay, let's get a weekly message for my cancer. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. Give me a message for cancer, please. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. Give me a message for cancer this week. What is it that you need to know? What is it that you need to know, cancer? The emperor. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo. Okay. The queen of swords in the reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo here. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, I said Aquarius already. Yeah, strong Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, Leo, Gemini, Libra. All right, somebody here working together with multiple people here. What's this Emperor? Give me something on the Emperor. Six of Swords in the Reverse. And somebody here could be traveling towards an emperor or going back to see an emperor, trying to communicate with an emperor. Okay, yeah, communicating with an emperor here. Somebody here could also be a Leo. All right, somebody here is communicating to someone that a high priestess is getting some sort of wish fulfillment. And there's a queen of swords in the reverse that's pissed off. Could be upset here about a high priestess getting some sort of wish fulfillment here. Yeah, somebody here is upset. The star reversed. They can't believe this. Strong Aquarius energy here. Okay. Somebody here wants to cause an ending for somebody. Somebody's wishing death on somebody. Child. Try to find a death card here. Somebody here can't believe that somebody hasn't died yet. This is this is heavy as fuck. Okay. Somebody here is confused as to why a death spell is not working. Yeah. Somebody here is trying to communicate to someone. That a death spell did work, but every time it, they try, it, it's not working. Yeah, somebody's furious, temperance in the reverse. Somebody feels like they need to stop something. They need to stop doing something. Somebody here feels like they need to stop doing something. Temperance in the reverse. Somebody here is pissed. Yeah, somebody here is heartbroken because something's not working. Somebody here is pissed because they hate that they got involved in this. Could be a Sagittarius that's mad. Yeah, temperance reverse, queen of wands reverse. Strong Sagittarius energy. It could also be an Aries or Leo, but I'm getting Sag. Somebody here is mad. Somebody here could be stopping something because they watching and they seeing that somebody has been lying to them or somebody's been using them. Okay? Yeah, somebody here is done with something. They don't want to ruin their own life behind this shit. Yeah, the world card. I feel like the cycle's closing out when it comes to betraying someone. Somebody here is being deemed innocent. Yeah, justice for this person. Somebody here is really jealous. That somebody's getting justice here or somebody here is finding out the truth about something. Yeah, this could have to do with a toxic family. Okay, there could have been a toxic family, toxic third parties here that wanted to see somebody in. Yeah, the devil. Somebody here wanted to uh, attach a dark entity to somebody, but that was the that was an injustice here. And it's not working. Somebody here is protected. This is an unfair situation. And this is causing a heavy burden for all parties involved here. A lot of this could have to do with some sort of money. Somebody here could have bribed someone or paid someone to do something to them. This is a toxic situation. Everybody that's involved here trying to do something to somebody is just showing up as someone that's, um, it's like it's an unfair situation. Yeah, God is God is standing right here. The high and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, three of wands here. Somebody here has been exposed. They're getting caught here. I also feel like this is going to spiritual court as well. So somebody is in spiritual jail and it may manifest in the 3D here. I feel like somebody's aware of that. And so they're they're bowing out. Somebody here wants to stop. They feel like this is this is not okay. Somebody here is realizing that something's just not it's not cool. Like somebody here is realizing that something is just bullshit. So somebody here could have gave somebody a valid reason to start conflict with someone like somebody here felt like the reason was valid but i feel like now somebody realizes that whatever reason they gave was false and so they don't want to be a part of it all right let's move on to my leos what's going on leo sun moon venus rising north no shout out to all the beautiful and handsome leos out there how you guys doing i hope all is well with you and yours let's get a weekly message for you leo all right, let's see what's going on with my Leos this week. My beautiful and handsome Leos out there. What is it that Leo needs to know during this time? 
Give me a message for my Leos this week. Leo, what's going on, sugar dumpling? What's up, baby? Shout outs to all the Leos out there. Leo, I love you. All right, let's see. The Six of Pentacles, nice. I feel like you could be receiving something. Something here could be being given to you. Or you may be giving somebody something. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like somebody here is depressed. Somebody here is depressed, disappointed, and restless and trying to um, overcome a tower moment or trying to prevent a tower moment from happening, okay? Somebody here, somebody here knows somebody full of shit. Yo, what is all of these messages about people just finding out people lying? Yeah, there's like a lot of truth being exposed. Yeah, there's a hierophant here that knows the truth about something. There could be multiple people starting conflict. Um... Multiple people arguing, okay, amongst each other. There's a lot of conflict and chaos here, a lot of drama, a lot of arguing here that may turn physical. I would hope not, okay? Somebody here is watching somebody, and they feel like this person has healed. This person is independent, and they're angry about this because this person was supposed to be in some sort of toxic energy, but instead, they're at peace or they're just grounded. There's a queen of swords in the reverse that's also upset because somebody's at peace. Somebody here was supposed to be stuck. But somebody here feel like they did something too impulsively to try to block someone's wish fulfillment. Somebody here would, wanted to win at all costs, but whatever they did was unjust. And now justice is being served for somebody here. Somebody here also feels like someone is communicating to them um, something really positive here. Somebody here could be receiving a, a legal document as well that's going to put a situation at rest. Somebody here feels like they have no protection, like they're getting karma behind this. Okay, there could be a Gemini, a Leo, or an Aries, Sagittarius that's found guilty for lying about something. Somebody here is waiting to see someone celebrate so that they can cause a tower moment for them. But somebody here is being watched and they may actually have an ending before that any of that could happen. Okay, what else is here? There's a lot going on here. There's a King of Pentacles in the reverse that's upset with somebody because they found out that this person lied to. There's also a King of Cups that has healed from a situation and could be ignoring a lot of people here because they're mad because somebody here didn't tell them the truth either. So it just looked like a, a bunch of people were collaborating together, but they all finding out what role each played as far as somebody not telling the truth. Confirmation by that bang. But somebody here feels like they missed out on the opportunity to make something right uh, with somebody. Somebody here also feel like they missed out on the opportunity to keep their promise to someone. Someone's really upset about somebody being happy. They wanted this person to be codependent, but somebody here could be finding out that somebody is an earth angel, somebody is an empress, somebody is the queen of cups, and this is why none of this works. Well, damn. Okay? Message is fucking coming out. Spirit said, just turn the deck over and read it. So that's what I did. As y'all can see, I didn't even let the rest of the cards fall out. I just turned the deck over and started reading the cards. That's what Spirit told me to do. So there's that. All right. Let's move on to my Virgos. What's going on, Virgo? What's up, sugar dumpling? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, north, Virgo. What's going on with you, good looking? All right, Spirit, give me a weekly message for my beautiful and handsome Virgos out there. What is it that you want to tell Virgo this week? Spirit, what message do you have for my Virgos this week? What is it that they need to know? Give me a message for Virgo. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no, Virgo. What's going on, Virgi, Virg? What's going on, Virgi, Virg? Virgo. <laughs> What's up, baby? Okay, we have the Knight of Wands here. The Seven of Wands in the reverse. And the Knight of Cups here. I feel like somebody here want to take some sort of action, come towards you. Okay, but this person is being watched. Okay, yep, somebody here is being watched. Somebody here want to take some sort of action to come towards you. All right, but it don't look like it's going to be successful here. It looks like somebody's being followed. Clarify this Knight of Wands here. Give me something on the Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles reversed. Somebody here is upset because they want to talk to you or they want to see you. They want to come face to face with you. Somebody here could be trying to run into you. Yeah, some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn. Somebody here has strong Capricorn in their chart. Somebody here feel like you're happy, you're manifesting. And somebody here want to bring conflict to that. Oh, man. Clarify the uh, five of ones. Yeah, somebody here feels like you're happy now that you've left them. Somebody here feel like you left them hanging, you're leaving them high and dry, and they don't like that. Yeah, the lovers in the reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Somebody here could be dealing with a Gemini, a Sagittarius, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Somebody here is really upset that somebody is leaving them. This could even be a relationship. 
Okay, Virgo, maybe somebody, you left somebody, you stopped talking to them. Okay, and this person is really upset and secretly they trying to come towards you because they feel like you're doing much better now that you're gone. Somebody here is just bitter because they feel like you're doing better now and that you two are not dealing with each other. So, like, let's just say you wasn't in the position that you're in now when you was with somebody. Now that you're not with this person, you could be in a much better position in your life doing really good for yourself. And this person's upset because they know that there's no equal give and take in the situation. They know you're not going to fall for the illusions to be with them. Like, this is somebody that wanted to come towards you and love bomb you, but they know you're not going to fall for this. They also know that you would never go down that road again. For a lot of you, you don't want to reconcile with anybody from your past. And whoever this person is, this is somebody from your past that did you wrong. And this person's upset because they can't come in and love bomb you. Their goal was to come in and love bomb you. But they know that you've healed and you're not going for it. Yeah, Virgo, you're not going for it. Uh, somebody here could also be wanting you to be sad. So whoever this is, I feel like they're projecting sadness towards you. This person wants you to be stuck in your head, stuck in the past. They want to cause you anxiety and depression, but that's an injustice, okay? Justice in the reverse is not going down. I feel like somebody here is mad because they wanted you to take care of them or they wanted you to give them something. Yeah, the king of pentacles in the reverse, somebody here could have even wanted you to like give them money here. Somebody here is heartbroken because you won't take care of them. Somebody here is getting karma for all the things that they've done to you in the past. This person is watching you. They feel like you're having some sort of new beginning, like you being celebrated right now. They feel like you have a lot of love in your heart. You're not supposed to have love in your heart after all they've done to you. You're not supposed to be happy. You're not supposed to have a new beginning. You're not supposed to be getting into a new relationship or any of that. After they hurt you the way they hurt you, you should still be sad. You should still be down and out. This person pissed off that you're not still sad. This is somebody that's really upset that you're not still sad. So they want to come towards you to not like really say sorry or make amends with you. This person want to come towards you and cause drama for you because you're supposed to be sad right now. You ain't supposed to be happy. But I feel like this person is not going to be able to come towards you because like I said, there's some sort of authorities here that, that's on this person's tail. And they may not even have anything to do with you. But this person is being watched right now. And it could be it could be due to something that has absolutely nothing to do with you. But this person is being followed. They are being watched right now. <sighs> Ciao. These messages is a lot this week. What the fuck? Collective, what y'all got going on, child? What do y'all have going on? These messages are a lot this week, okay? People getting exposed. People lying. People getting this, getting that. Like, come on now. Let's move on to my Libra. Shout out to all the Libras out there. Libra gang, what's up, baby? Let's see. Let's get a weekly message for my Libras. So what messages do you have for Libra this week? Give me a message for Libra this week, please. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Give me a weekly message for my beautiful and handsome Libras out there. Libra, 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 gang, gang. Libra, gang, gang. Libra, 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 gang, gang. <laughs> What's up, Libs? I love you guys. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? The chariot. I love it, okay? I'm telling you, cancer has been in your energy very strong. Some of y'all, you beefing with a cancer. Others of you, you're in a connection with a cancer. Like, I don't know what's going on with Libra and cancer right now, child. Some of y'all really dealing with cancers. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well that is mad at you. There could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio, or Leo that's pissed off. I can't make it up. This is somebody from your past that's holding a grudge. They're mad because you're not mad. You know, I don't really feel like you're holding a grudge towards this person. But for some reason, this person's holding a grudge towards you. This person could also be upset because they doing spell work on you and they feel like that shit ain't working. Class out a magician in the reverse. For some of you, this could even be your child's father, Okay. This could be your baby daddy cutting the fuck up. Yeah, this person could be a Leo for some of y'all. I'm getting Leo, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn. Whoever this person is, they are drained. They are tired. They are frustrated. They can't believe you, Libra. Okay, they can't believe you. I don't know why they can't believe you. They the ones that's doing a lot. Yeah, this person is restless. They may not be sleeping well. You always on their mind. They feel like you rejecting them or you walked away from them. Okay, they feel like they can't be they can't be with you anymore. So they just want to cause hell for you. This is no equal give and take here with this two of cups in the reverse. A lot of y'all felt like this person didn't really invest in you and they had the opportunity to. And a lot of y'all have healed from this person. And they feel like you ghosting them or you have ghosted them. They don't like this. 
okay? They don't like the fact that you're in this nine of cups energy. They feel like you're emotionally independent. They also feel like you're celebrating during this time. This person is watching you, okay? They can't believe that you're happy. They can't believe you have peace. They can't believe you're celebrating. Libra, here you are. I can't make it up. Showing up as the Empress. Libra, you know you always show up as the Empress. We're clarifying the three of cups with the Empress. Somebody here feel like you're celebrating or you're being celebrated. You're sitting in your power, it's like you're sitting on a throne here. Yeah, wish fulfillment here, four of wands. Some of you could also be getting married. Congratulations. Some of my Libras, you could be newly engaged. Congratulations. Some of y'all are really doing big things. It's like all your wishes are coming true. You could be getting married, newly engaged. Some of y'all found out y'all pregnant. Congratulations. Everything that could go right is going right. Yeah, some of y'all definitely fucking pregnant. You could have strong Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your chart, or you could be dealing with a water sign. Somebody with strong water in their chart, you guys are expecting a baby, or you guys are celebrating the fact that you're engaged, you're getting married, and somebody here is pissed off because the cycle between you and them is over. There's a Virgo that's upset because you're getting justice in the situation. This person is mad because you're not talking to them no more. There's also a Gemini that's mad at you. Okay, so you got like a Gemini, <laughs> a Virgo, a Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or a Capricorn that's pissed off with you right now. Okay, Ten of Cups in the reverse, the Sun reverse. Yeah, strong Leo is upset with you. Somebody is also mad because who's this Hierophant? You could be getting a higher form of commitment. You could be getting commitment from a Taurus or a water sign. That could be your partner, but you really happy. Okay, and somebody here is pissed off. Somebody here is jealous about the fact that you got real love. Somebody here is actually heartbroken about the fact that you have real love. I also feel like you have a family member that's in love with you. What the fuck? Libra, what the fuck is this? <clears throat> Some of y'all got a family member that's in love with y'all. That's weird, but I'm getting that. That's for somebody. Yeah, this person is upset. They can't believe how protected you are. This person is showing up as the King of Wands reverse. Could be a fire sign. Somebody was showing fire in their chart. There's also a King of Wands in the reverse that's upset because they lied on you. But now they want to give you a love offer, but they feel like they can't because they feel like they got too much conflict surrounding them. They feel like there's a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse that's making their life a living hell. They could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn that they feel like is on their back. That's watching them 24-7. This person is also upset because they feel like you healed. This is somebody that wants you to be heartbroken over them. They feel like you was heartbroken over them before, and they don't understand how you're not heartbroken anymore. This is somebody that y'all have a strong connection with, but this person could have turned on you. I feel like they regret turning on you, but at the same time, they just upset because they feel like you're going to have a new beginning with somebody else. They also feel like they're getting karma here for something else. They feel like things are catching up to them. This person got a lot of people gossiping about them. There's a queen of swords in the reverse that could be gossiping about you. Okay, but you showing up as a temperance and a nine of pentacles. I feel like you're trying to stay out the way. You're not looking for trouble. You're not trying to cause any problems. But somebody here is really stressed out because they really fucking exhausted all their options to tear you down. Somebody here feel like they try to get you at every angle to cause indents for you, to cause blockages and obstacles for you along your path. But they feel like it was unsuccessful. And it's like somebody's upset about that. Like upset to the point where, you know, there could be tears forming. And I don't understand why somebody would be that frustrated or unhappy and sad because they couldn't cause blockages for you. Like that's that's really fucked up. Like I don't know why somebody feel that way towards y'all Libra. Like it's never that serious. Like you listen, we all don't like people, but it should never be that to that point where you crying because you couldn't stop somebody's um, path, you couldn't block somebody's path, like, that's just, that's too much for me, alright, let's move on to my fucking Scorpios, I'm over these messages this week, like, can somebody get a positive message, I mean, Libra, you do have a positive message, as far as those of you that's getting married, you're in love, and you're pregnant, and things like that, like, that's really beautiful to see, Libra, okay, yeah, high form of commitment, the higher form of six of wands, like, that's really nice to see, but it's just like the energy in the background is really negative. Like, I'm, these messages are really starting to, like, really piss me off, <laughs> okay? But, Libra, I feel like y'all don't even care. Those of you that resonate with that message, you too busy, you know, preparing for your baby or preparing for your wedding and shit. All right, let's move on to my Scorpios. What's up, Scorp? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North, No. Scorpio, how you feeling, baby? Scorpio, let's get a weekly message for you, dog. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, no flow. Let's get a message from my Scorps. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. 
Spirit, what is it that you want to tell Scorpio this week? Give me a message for Scorp Daddy. Okay, you got a Queen of Wands in a reverse that's in your energy. This person could be a fire sign for some of you. You also got an Aries in your energy and a Pisces. So I'm getting Sagittarius, very strong. Leo, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay, yeah, more Leo energy here. Yeah, some of y'all dealing with fire signs or Pisces or Aquarius. <sighs> Somebody here is angry about some sort of money. Somebody here feels like it's unfair. Justice in the reverse. The lovers reverse. Strong Gemini Libra energy here. Somebody here is upset about some sort of money here. Yeah, somebody here is mad. There's a Queen of Pentacles reverse. A Queen of Cups that's mad about some money. Somebody here could have... Ooh. Oh, shit. Wait, hold up. I don't know if I should say this on here. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, see, this is not going to end well. Here they go with they shit. This is not going to end well, y'all. Who messages this? Scorpio? Scorpio, what the fuck you got going on, baby? This ain't going to end well. Mm-mm. I don't even know if I should say this on here. This is like a Patreon message. Yeah, the devil. Mm. All right, I'm going to try to word this in the best way that I can. I feel like somebody is communicating to someone something about money. Okay. Could be a Libra, a Gemini, um, another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces involved. I'm also getting Virgo, okay? I'm getting more Scorpio, and I'm getting Aries, Leo, Sag. A lot of people involved here or receiving a message that there's some there's a loss here with finances or somebody here didn't receive some sort of finances. But somebody here feels like that's unfair and they're upset. Somebody here feels like that's bad news. Somebody here could be going back to communicate to a King of Swords reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, that they're not getting money. Somebody here is also communicating to someone that an empress is protected. Scorpio, you could be this empress that's protected. There could have been some sort of money that was attached to you or some sort of money that somebody stole from you. And now they feel like they got to pay it back. Um, somebody here could have also been waiting for something to come to them and they feel like it's not coming to them. So they feel like they're about to get in trouble. Somebody here could be trying to run away. Okay, I'm getting here that somebody here could be trying to relocate. Somebody here could be trying to take a flight, go across seas because they know for a fact that they're going to get arrested because they know that they lied on something. Somebody here could have also forged somebody's signature. Okay, this page energy is giving me like a forged signature, some sort of documents here that was um, found false. Okay. Somebody here could have even pretended to be you. So it's giving me like identity theft. Scorpio, it's a lot going on here. This was either done to you or you could have been a part of this. I mean, I hope y'all not a part of this because it just don't look good. Um, And I feel like somebody here is about to sing like a fucking canary. Yep. The moon reverse. That's why you got to do shit by yourself. You know, I don't condone um illegal shit. That's not what I'm saying on here. I'm just saying like when stuff like this happen, is this is why people do stuff alone because when you do it with a lot of people like this and shit hit the fan there's no loyalty you know there's no loyalty here <clears throat> yeah the hermit the devil capricorn virgo energy ten of cups six of pentacles here the sun reverse four of pentacles reverse yeah i ain't even gonna say all this this is not gonna end well scorpio if you could get out of this situation i would advise you to um if you're a part of this but if you're the one that's being if this is being done to you then you don't really have nothing to worry about but if you are somebody that's a part of this you may want to back out now because all parties involved will feel like they're going under and i really do feel like somebody here is about to tell on somebody either so it's either one person or multiple people here that's just going to start telling everybody's secrets Somebody here knows everybody's secrets or there's just a bunch of people that know each other's secrets and they all are like telling each other. <sighs> Lord, Scorpio, baby, what the hell? You know, these messages are definitely not going to resonate with everybody. I don't know what's going on this week, but I promise y'all there's messages that a lot of y'all ain't going to resonate with. And I know what, tomorrow's the new moon, so maybe that's why the energy is so crazy right now because tomorrow's the new moon, child. But baby, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, let's move on to my Sag Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no. Let's get a message for Sag. 
Sagittarius, how you feeling, sugar? Hope all is well with you and yours. Hope you guys have an amazing week. Sagittarius, happy birthday. I hope you've been enjoying your season, baby. I know you've been out here turning up, looking beautiful as ever. Shout out to the Sagittarius out there. Y'all be turned. Y'all be a good time. Sagittarius, you are a good time. All right, let's see, baby. Sagi gang, okay, be careful of the company you keep. These hoes ain't loyal. These bitches be gossiping, okay? That's what I'm getting. These bitches be talking about you, okay? So watch the hoes that you surround yourself with, okay? Some of y'all may be having issues with a Capricorn or a fire sign. There could also be somebody that's trying to come towards you that's, that loves you, okay? Somebody here saying they love you. King of Cups. This person could be unhappy right now, but they're saying that they love you. They in their head right now. They miss you. Yeah, they love you. They miss you. They don't want things to be over between you two. They view you as their empress. They trying to manifest a beautiful life with you. Sagittarius, you showing up as a temperance. I feel like you feel like this person betrayed you, but they saying that they're going to make it up to you. So some of y'all about to make up with somebody, okay? But you're going to be playing hard to get. I feel like you're going to be playing hard to get. For some of you, you got a point to prove, so you may play hard to get for a little while. But this is your boo. I feel like you both love each other. This person could have put you in a third party for some of you, but they're really sorry. They're saying they'll never do that shit again. And some of y'all may actually give them another chance. Hey, it is what it is. You really love somebody. You feel like you guys could work it out. Go for it. Yeah, this is somebody that's really in love with you. This person could be a water sign. They could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. They could be a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. Whoever this is, they're really in love with you. Yeah, but some of you feel like this person is non-committal. It's like you don't trust this person. You care about this person. You love this person, but you don't trust them. Okay, yeah, because of a third party. Some of you feel like this person comes and goes as they please. You could be mad at this person because you feel like maybe they only lust after you. Like you guys have great sex. You have great, uh, you, you guys have great sex. You have great uh, chemistry here. Okay, great sexual chemistry. And you feel like maybe that's all it is. You want more. You want a higher form of commitment. Like if you're going to invest in this you really want this person to invest in you. I feel like this person is trying to profess their love to you, though. The sun reverse. Could be a Leo for some of y'all. Somebody here could also be nervous about having legal issues. Or they got, like, a court situation for some of you. But they saying that they gonna marry you. It's like, listen, you gonna ride for me, you gonna be down. Okay, I know I'm in a little situation right now. But if you really, if you really love me, you know, you gonna wait for me. You gonna be down. Like, whatever it is. Like, you gonna come to my hearing. Like... For some of you, somebody here may be a street dude. You know, it is what it is. Sometimes we like them thug niggas. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius, you could be fucking with a thug. You got a thug that's in love with you. You got somebody that be in the streets that's in love with you. Okay, you a high priestess, though. I feel like you could do something for this person. Some of y'all could help this person get out. You, you know you know what I'm trying to say, Sag. Whoever this message resonates for, okay? This show, this show, man, you really fuck with him. You really hold him down. Some of y'all about that action. You could actually help this person. You can help this person out. So if you want to make up with this person and you really want them, you can help them out, baby. You know you can help them out. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. You can help them out. Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot. You know, some of y'all could be coming into some money as well. Like, shit, Sagittarius, I ain't going to say everything. This going to be for somebody. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, for real, for real. But you, you hold this person down. You can help them out. Yeah, this person is very strong. Yeah, if you're dealing with a Leo, this motherfucker is strong. He's strong. He's smart. You know, he could have just got into a little situation, but he loved the hell out of you. So if you're going to be if you're going to be there for him, be there for him. You know what I'm saying? But he's saying that he's sorry for not really giving to you the way that he should have. And like I said, this person could have got caught cheating on you at one point. I feel like he beat himself up about that shit, though. He feel bad about it. He do. It'll be up to you on whether or not, you know, you want to forgive him and hold him down. It'll be up to y'all. But he ain't going nowhere. He said he ain't going nowhere. He really hoped that you don't leave him hanging. You don't leave him high and dry. Especially if he get in a situation that he can't get out of for a little while. You know what I'm saying? He hoping that you don't leave him high and dry. He hoped that you'll remain loyal. So that'll be up to y'all whether or not y'all want to. But I do feel like he really do love you. It's a lot of love coming from him. So yeah, it's a lot of love here coming from him. You know, everybody fuck up sometimes. Shit, some of y'all probably cheated too. I don't know what the fuck going on, but I'm just saying like... I don't know. It'll be up to you. You want to hold him down. You're like, you going to hold me down, baby? But I'm telling you, you showing up as somebody that's powerful. So I feel like you could do a little something, something for your baby. Sagittarius, 
some of y'all will be able to do something if you if you wanted to if you tried you know hook them up get your baby out a little jammy jam that he in all right let's move on to my capricorns What's going on, Kathy? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. What's going on with my Capricorns? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Capricorn. Let's get a weekly message for Cap. Two more shuffles for my beautiful and handsome Capricorns out here. Capricorn, you so fine, sugar. I'm here, man. Oh, Mickey, you so fine. You so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> What, what movie is that from? That's from Bring It On, right? Oh, Mickey, you so fine. You so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Somebody here may like the movie Bring It On. Somebody here, name could be Mickey. Nickname could be Mickey. Somebody here may like Mickey Mouse. I don't know why I'm channeling this shit. <laughs> okay. Capricorn, what's going on here? Okay. A lot of gossip. A lot of gossip. So, uh, is there a lot of people talking about you, Cap? I don't know. There's a lot of gossip here. A lot of gossip, a lot of spying, a lot of watching. Yeah, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here could be watching the King of Pentacles in the reverse or gossiping about a King of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here could be feeling some type of way about you getting into a partnership or you getting into a relationship. What's going on here? Yeah, seven of swords here, the stars. Somebody here feel like you healing a connection with somebody. And they may not necessarily approve of that, okay? They may not necessarily like the fact that you are healing the connection with somebody. I feel like there's multiple people here that are gossiping and upset because you're healing a connection with somebody. They don't like that shit. Somebody here may not like the person that you are reconnecting with, okay? Somebody here could be a Cancer, a Virgo, a Gemini. Somebody here could also be doing spell work here to try to keep you two apart. But it looked like you are still dedicated to reconciling with this person. For some of you, you're dedicated to going back towards this person because you're really unhappy without them. You want to at least try and see where this goes. You don't want to live life without knowing you didn't do everything that you could to get this person back. There's a distorted feminine, an empress in the reverse that is pissed off. I feel like this person is really mad because you're avoiding them. You may feel like this person is toxic. Okay, I'm getting strong Aquarius, Cancer, Leo, and Capricorn energy here. This person could be another cat like you. Okay, I'm also getting Libra energy here. Somebody here is heartbroken. Okay, somebody here is heartbroken because you're not going to stay away from somebody even though they did a lot to try to keep you away from this person. Somebody here is not trying to let up either. They're working really hard to keep you away from somebody. Somebody here don't want you to reconcile with someone. But I, I, it looks like you're determined to reconcile with somebody. And Capricorn, if this is not you determined to reconcile with somebody then this is the person that wants to reconcile with you they're determined to reconcile with you take it as it resonates yeah everything i'm saying is the truth ace of swords somebody here could also be upset because somebody here didn't have an ending somebody here could have been trying to cause an ending for somebody because they really don't want you to reconcile like it's really that deep for somebody yeah, they want you to just give up on this situation. They want you to give up on this person. They want you to release this person. There's an emperor in the reverse that's heavily burdened and weighed down right now. Somebody here could also be feeling like they're being watched by some sort of authorities here. Whoever they're trying to keep you from is very protected as well. This person showing up as a high priestess and a hermit. So this person's like a high priestess, a hermitess. This is somebody that's a seer. So somebody that y'all really want to be with is held in high rank. Yeah, justice. Okay. This person could be a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Virgo, a Libra. They could have that in their chart. Yeah, this person showing up as the Queen of Swords. Could be a Gemini Aquarius as well. This is somebody, somebody, there's a King of Wands here that wants this person as well. So I feel like there's somebody that's competing for this uh, High Priestess here. There's multiple people that's competing for this High Priestess. Okay, but this High Priestess may not be wanting to give to nobody. This person could be choosing to be single. Yeah, somebody here wished that this High Priestess was codependent and still loved them. Somebody here could also only want this person for finances. I feel like this high priestess knows this, and that's exactly why they ain't fucking with them. Listen, you could be this high priestess, or you could be dealing with this high priestess, all right? Y'all apply the roles as y'all see fit. Y'all know where y'all at in this situation, okay? Okay. <laughs> y'all know better than me where y'all at with this situation. All right. Let's move on to my aquas. What's going on, Aquarius? How you feeling, sugar doctor? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no. Give me a message for Aquarius. 
11th to the 17th. Eleven to the seventeenth. Give me a message for Aquarius. Two more shuffles for my Aquarius. What's up, Aqua Game? What's up, Aqua? Aquarius, what's going on, sugar plums? Shout out to my fellow air signs, Aquas. What's up? Some of y'all dealing with a Scorp. You dealing with a Scorpio? Okay, you could be done with a Gemini or a Virgo or a Leo. All right. I feel like somebody here ready to give something up. I don't know if it's you or them. Somebody here could be telling you that they done with something. They done with a situation or this is you saying you're done. Yeah, there's a cycle that's coming to an end with the world card. Something here is coming to a complete end. Something is over. You could be putting an end to something or this person is. But I feel like another person in this situation doesn't want something to be over. Okay? I feel like there's a queen of wands in the reverse that may not want something to be over. Somebody here is really trying to make something work here. What is this? Okay? What is this? Clarify the, um, let me clarify everything. What's the death in the, okay. Page of swords here. So, Aquarius, I feel like somebody is watching you or you're watching someone. What is this? Somebody here is watching someone and upset because they feel like this person what is in hermit mode. So this person could be in solitude or Aquarius. Some of y'all got strong Virgo in your chart. You could be in solitude or you could be celebrating. Either way, it's like you're having a good time whether you're alone or not. And somebody else is upset because they feel like they're getting karma. Somebody here don't want to get somebody here feel like you should be getting karma too. I don't know what this is. Clarify the world of fortune in the reverse. It looks like you manifesting, you happy, you celebrating, or you in solitude. And there's a king of swords in the reverse that's pissed. There could be a Virgo that's mad at you, or Scorpio, or Sagittarius, okay? Or a Libra Gemini. Or another Aquarius like you. Yeah, there's somebody that's really upset because you standing your ground, you sticking, you standing up to them. Somebody here could be obsessed with y'all, okay? Aquarius, I heard you got that ill nana, all right? So somebody here, you done put it on somebody, and you probably regret ever giving this person something because they done lost their damn mind over you, child. Clarify the devil. <laughs> somebody here could be obsessed with y'all. They like, come on, man, let me just let me just taste it one more time. Yeah, this person is like, like you are like cracked to this person. You're like this person's drug. Yeah, you're receiving justice in the situation, though. Some of y'all may even need to take some sort of legal action against this person what is going on here child some justice is being served though this person trying to fight with you cause conflict for you it's not going to work in their favor yeah this person is going to have an extreme tower moment they feel like you're the one that got away you're the one that's getting away this person can't stop thinking about you it's really on some if i can't have you nobody can type shit there's also a karmic woman or a distorted feminine that's attached to this person. So the way they, the way this person is obsessed with you, there's a distorted feminine that's obsessed with this person in that way. Does that make sense? Like this person obsessed with you, but there's a woman that's obsessed with them. I feel like you don't care. Some of y'all are winning a legal case as well. You could have a legal case that's going on right now. You're going to win. Okay. You're going to win. If you have some sort of legal case going on right now, Aqua, Everything that's going in your favor, you're going to win. I can assure you of that. I promise you that. Yeah, those of you that resonate with this message, it looks like you winning something. This could have to do with something. This could be regarding family or past people or ex-lover or your child's father here. But you showing up as someone that's healing. We got the star card here in the upright. You are showing up as someone that loves themselves. Someone that's healing, someone that's pouring into themselves. Very nice energy, Aqua. I feel like that's bad news for somebody. Somebody here hate the fact that you love yourself. Somebody here wish that you would just stop taking care of yourself. <laughs> what? Somebody here don't want you to take care of yourself. Somebody here wants you to give up on yourself. Somebody here wants you to be lazy. Lazy, tired, drained, not taking care of yourself. But that's not working. Five of swords in the reverse. I also feel like somebody here is pissed because you're not fighting back with them. That's why the five of swords is in the reverse and the five of wands is in the reverse. Somebody here is like really mad because they were trying to fight with you or trying to get um, a reaction out of you, but they didn't. You're calm. You're not fighting back. If, if anything, you just took legal action. You went about it the smart way. 
and you're getting your justice, okay? Judgment in the reverse here for this person. Well, these people, they're getting karma. Somebody here mad as hell that you ain't stooped to their level. Somebody here wanted you to fight with them, and instead you was just like, mm, I'm going to take that motherfucker to court. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to take that motherfucker to court. Before I put hands and feet on this motherfucker, I'm going to just go the legal route. <laughs> Aquarius, what the hell? All right. Child, y'all killing me with these messages, man. All right, let's move on to my Pisces. Last but definitely not least. So give me a message for Pisces. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. Give me a message for my beautiful and handsome Pisces out there. Pisces, what's going on with you, sugar? I hope all is well with you and yours. Send you guys lots of love. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Pisces, what's going on with you this week? What's going on, Pisces? What's going on with my Pisces? All right. The tower in the reverse. Oh, that's too many. But we got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, too, that just showed itself. We'll see if that comes back out. Somebody here could be feeling like they on the opposite side of the wheel. Somebody here could be feeling like they about to receive some sort of bad karma. Yep, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse came back out. Somebody here is actually anticipating karma. Somebody here like, oh, Lord, what's next? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is, but somebody here is like, what's next? Yeah, somebody here is watching somebody. Somebody here like, what's next? is going on so okay so somebody here waiting for some sort of karma because they know they fucked up in a situation i don't know if somebody did you wrong pisces or if this is you feeling like you did somebody wrong and maybe it's going to catch up to you baby i don't know take it as it resonates this person could be feeling this way if they wronged you or like i said if you know you wronged somebody you may be feeling this way i'm not saying that this is how this is going to play out i feel like this is just somebody's expectations like this two of wands is giving me like somebody has they just feel like something's about to go wrong somebody here could be dealing with a capricorn a libra another pisces a taurus a leo a cancer but somebody here is watching someone Somebody here could have lost somebody. My condolences. I'm so sorry to hear that, guys. The hangman reverse. I feel like somebody here, Pisces, you could be an empress, okay? You could be in this empress energy. Shout out to my divine feminine Pisces. Somebody here could be coming to you, telling you about someone's passing. Somebody here could be communicating to you that someone has transitioned. I'm sorry. Those of you that resonate with that message, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. Um, what is this? Yeah, there's like a lot of gossip behind this. Oh, this is a backfire though. So somebody here. Oh man, yes, the death card. What? Pisces, did somebody come for you and end up passing the fuck away? For some of y'all, that's what's going on. Somebody here could have tried you and they ended up losing their own life or they ended up losing a loved one. This is sad. I feel like somebody here wants to go back and communicate to you that somebody here has passed away or they lost a loved one. Somebody here could have all some this is a lot going on. Somebody here could have been expecting some sort of payout for someone's death. And that person didn't die. Somebody else died. And somebody here feel like they missed out on the opportunity to cash out. So this could even be like a life insurance policy that somebody um was expecting to receive some sort of money from. Somebody here could have even did a death spell on somebody to obtain this life insurance policy but the death spell didn't work on a person that was the target 
it kind of hit someone else on that end, on that end that was doing it. And so somebody here felt like they missed out on the opportunity to cash out. I'm seeing some shit like that. Yeah, justice in the reverse. This is an injustice. Pisces, I hope somebody didn't do this shit to y'all. I feel like anybody and everybody that was involved is now fighting amongst each other. Everybody fighting fighting with each other. Yeah, the hyperfront reverse. Somebody here could be a Taurus. I'm getting Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo. Yeah, wow. Somebody here is mad as hell that they can't get this fucking money. That's what they're mad about. I feel like, but I also feel like somebody's heartbroken and hurt because of, uh, no, no, I don't see that. I don't see that. Yeah, somebody here more mad about money than anybody passing away. Let me get up out of here. Let me, <laughs> let me get up out of this energy, child. I love you guys. I hope these messages resonated with some of y'all. I mean, shit, the way these messages is looking, I hope they didn't resonate. I don't fucking know, child. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot, you know. There was no real lovey-dovey or cutesy messages for real, for real. I mean, it looked like everybody message came with some bullshit this week. And I do apologize, you guys. And I am apologizing to those of you that will watch these messages and be like, don't none of this shit resonate with me. But apparently, it's going to resonate with somebody for it to come out and my um, messages like this. That means somebody that watched me will find some sort of confirmation or clarity in these messages. But I know a lot of y'all may feel like these messages ain't resonate with y'all this week. But y'all let me know if you wish to leave a comment. But um, I'm going to talk to y'all soon. All right. Have a great week, y'all. All right. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Peace.